crinkling, crumbling, crackling, and plastic wrap crap. That's the sound of airport food or at the grocery store while you're road tripping. All right, so one of my favorite comedians, Mitch Hedberg, likes to talk about food a lot. And one of his jokes, he was like, I like vending machines because snacks are better when they fall. If I buy a candy bar at a store, oftentimes I drop it so it achieves maximum flavor potential. Mitch Hedberg had a lot of classic jokes. Absolutely love them. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about 11 brilliant travel ideas that you'll be able to take away from this and travel effectively. I'm also gonna show you a recipe for a very potent, powerful, uh, packed nutrients power bar that you can take on the road to fuel you, leave you satiated, and have you feeling good while you're traveling. You know, a lot of people go to a destination only to show up at the destination feeling weakened, feeling like their immune system has been taxed, and not feeling the best that they need to feel. In this week's Saturday strategy, it's my intention and goal at the end of this so that you and your family, the people that you love, feel like you have more energy upon arrival than when you left. So let's do this. I remember traveling internationally once uh, to Asia and I got back and it took me weeks to repair my digestive system. So if you've ever went somewhere and it's taken you weeks to get back to normal, then this video is for you. If you've ever been walking around a new place starving and the only option is fast food, then this video is for you as well. It's hard to eat well when you're far away from home and there's not a lot of options. We get emails all the time at FitLife asking what we do when we travel. So we wanted to make this video for you and show you the 11 brilliant things that you can do and just to show you that you're not alone. You know, everybody that travels, it's not an excuse to eat all of the airplane food or an excuse to go throughout the airport and have a free for all after you've been working so diligently and hard to get that body that you really want, to get that vitality, that health, to feel a certain way, just to give it up in a day or two of eating less than really great food. Number one, pack your own lunch instead of eating the airport food. Number two, choose water. Oftentimes when we're hungry, we're just simply dehydrated. Number three, skip the fast food. I know you're hungry, but oftentimes the fast food has ingredients, chemicals, different things that are gonna uh, trick your thyroid and other things that you don't want to have happen in your body. Number four, pack healthy snacks for the hotel room. Oftentimes the hotel room has snacks that's processed, not only that, but they're like five bucks for a little thing of peanuts like this. You can do better than that just by taking some snacks from home. Number five, keep a healthy snack in your bag. In this video, I'm actually gonna show you a protein bar that you can take with you anywhere you go. Number six, share your meals when eating out. Oftentimes these restaurants give you these huge, gigantic proportions that leave you in a food coma. Instead of doing that, Share your dinner with somebody else. Real simple, not only that, but you actually save money doing that as well. Number seven, make sure you're getting all of your nutrients. A lot of times we're not hungry, but we're nutritionally hungry. So bring Organifi with you. That's your nutritional insurance for your travel trips. Number eight is take probiotics and enzymes with you as well, especially if you have that funky gut going on, like 75% of the country, as you're well aware, we've shot in videos in the past, have leaky gut, symptoms that you're not absorbing all the nutrients and your digestion's a little funky. So if you take probiotics and enzymes with you, you're gonna be able to fix that funky gut. Number nine, find farmer's markets. Farmers markets are everywhere and they have nature's greatest food. Fruits and veggies, go there, get your stuff. You're gonna love it. Number 10 is find local restaurants and local products. What I would do is find restaurants on Yelp, type it in, farm to table, things where there's a lot of organic fruits and veggies. Uh, we're blessed living out here in California, but when I travel the East Coast, I'm always looking for places like this and throughout the Midwest as well. You can do it. It just takes planning in advance, which I know you can do if you're watching this video. Number 11, our last but not least tip. This is the biggest thing, is eat often and eat light. When you do these two things, you're gonna keep your metabolism revved up, you're not eating a huge, huge meal, which is gonna slow you down, make you fatigued, make your brain slower. Because when you're traveling, and even if you're doing the touristy stuff where you're looking at different monuments and seeing the history of the place, you want your mind to be active. You wanna be stimulated. You wanna feel the best. You wanna feel light on your feet. And to do that, eat often and eat light. So those are our 11 tips. Hopefully you found those healthy. The Apple Cinnamon Bar exclusive from FitLife on Saturday Strategy. 
Preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Place all ingredients into a food processor. Three cups of fine coconut flakes. Two cups of dried apple rings. We got a half a cup of coconut oil. Two teaspoons of cinnamon is what you want to put in this recipe. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. We got a half a cup of pitted dates. We got one scoop of Organifi. Nature's greatest green superfood. Process until it's thick and sticky. Press contents firmly into a greased 8x8 baking pan. Bake at about 25 minutes or until golden brown. While still warm, score into bars or squares. Let cool, refrigerate for about an hour, and then you can devour those things. This recipe is adapted from Mickey Trescott, who's autoimmune and paleo approved. You're absolutely gonna love this. When you do, give this video a big thumbs up. This is gonna be your go-to when traveling. Oh, let's try this. Mmm. The crunchiness, the sweetness, the salt, the cinnamon. Mm. It's just like, damn. It's almost like you bite the power bar and the power bar bites you back. All right, so it's that time. Who won the juicer? Remember, next week, if you wanna win the juicer, scroll down to the bottom of this blog post Leave a comment below about how your life has changed by implementing some of the strategies and tips that we talk about on Fit Life TV. This week's juicer winner is PJ Watkins. PJ attempted juicing in the past but didn't enjoy the flavor. PJ used this fitlife.tv website to find tasty recipes or even ask the community for some of their favorites. Also, as you begin to include more whole raw foods in your diet, your taste buds will begin to crave the natural flavors of vitamins and minerals in that food. We're sending you a Kubing's juicer to help you do just that. Congratulations, PJ. All right, my friend, thank you so much for watching this video. We absolutely love making these videos for you because we see all the emails and the impact that we're making together as a community at large. To be a part of this community, it's real simple. The only thing you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you're on Facebook, make sure you give our page, Juicing Vegetables, a big old like. When you do this, we're looking to pick one person that has subscribed over the past week and actually award that person a juicer that we give away every single week. So make sure you subscribe to get a chance to win the juicer on this next week's Saturday strategy that we have coming up for you. I'm Drew Canoli. As always, remember, we're in this together. Hopefully you found our 11 tips healthy. Cause I know they are. Can you smell it? Can you smell what I'm smelling?